Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm DJ B Money, and I'm one half of Amateur Ape. My partner is is making his way to the stage right now, and we'll be DJing you for you guys tonight at tonight's intermission, which is about five minutes away. Now, many of you guys are asking yourself, well, DJs, don't they just play other music? And the answer is yes, we do play other people's music, but we hope to do it in a different light. And tonight, we're going to be creating a mashup for you and hopefully explaining the steps that it goes into creating one of these mixes. So what is a mashup? A mashup is a certain style of remix, um, and it usually combines two opposite genres, which creates a really wide opposite appeal. So you might take a rock song and combine it with a classical. And if you're familiar with the DJ Hero game, then you're probably familiar with what a mashup is. So what kind of technology do we need to do this? You need two basic things. You need the ability to multi-track, which basically means to play two tracks at once, and you need the ability to edit what you're, what you're playing. So you need the ability to change the time or tempo and do those type of things. These things can either be done live or pre-recorded. And since you guys are all out here live, we will be shortly demonstrating live remix and hopefully the crowd reaction will be something like this. <laughs> um, so what are our options? You can go about this several different ways. You can go the old school style as seen in the 70s there with the two turntables and the mixer or you can update into 2010 and use the all digital computer technology setup, or you can use a combination of both, which is what we're gonna do. To create a mashup, you need to choose your songs. It's kind of like going through the jukebox. What am I gonna play? There's so much music out there. Well, the thing is you can go about it and you can choose songs with similar themes, tempos, or times. Um, so let's, how, how would we go about doing this? All right, so we've determined our technology. We wanna do it live, and of course, we're gonna rock for you guys tonight. Uh, we've picked up our, sound, our songs, which we're soon to pick out here, and now we're going to walk through you how we would do this step by step. So in DJing, you first need to get the timing of your song right. And in DJing, this is measured by beats per minute. And simply put, this means how many times does the drum bang in the song. And if any of you guys have ever tapped your, song, or tapped your foot along to a song, you've already measured the beats per minute. You can do this uh, two different ways. You can, once again, a uh, theme seems to be old school. You can break out the stopwatch and you could literally count how many times the drum breaks within one minute, or you could break out your technology and the computer programs will analyze it all for you. Um, so now we've uh, determined our beats per minute. You guys have found out how to keep the time. And uh, we're now set to get a BPM for our remix and we're ready to go about remixing a song. Okay, so once we've determined our beats per minute, in order to get the songs to match, we're going to have to adjust, uh, adjust the timing of our songs. And once again, this comes in where we need the ability to edit, and we'll be using the live turntables here and using our pitch control to edit out our BPMs. Also keeping in mind with this type of remix, you're going to sometimes want to have an instrumental song, sometimes you're going to want to have a song with lyrics, and sometimes you're going to want to combine them both together. It's just important to keep in mind that you don't want to have two lyrics going over each other or too much going on. Now we're going to put it to, to use and show you guys how we rock. We're going to be combining Mystical with Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Once again, two opposites, and we're going to be using Shake That Ass with Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> All right, so on our first turntable, as my man is queuing up, we'll be playing Mystical's Shake That Ass. And so we're now gonna use our pitch control to uh, get that tempo set to 98 beats per minute, which is exactly what we're gonna wanna be for our remix. On our second turntable, we're gonna be wanting to queue up the Sweet Home Alabama. And once again, we're gonna wanna match this tempo to what we had uh, our Mystical song going at. So my man's over there is working it out, trying to get the attempt tempos adjusted. And in a second here, we're going to show you how to drop. All right. And then you can see he's working something in the middle. That there is the mixer, which is going to allow us to play both songs at once. And uh, basically, that just allows you to have two tracks playing and allows you to adjust the volumes for them and make some minor tweaks. Uh, so now we're set to get into it. We have our track selected. Uh, we're getting a match to the same tempo. And the next thing we need to do is learn how to drop them on time. Dropping on time is, is pretty much as simple as counting. All you have to do is count to one, two, three, four. And uh, basically that means we're dealing with beats that are in a four, four time signature. So if you count one, two, three, four, and you can hear kind of how his timing's coming in. <laughs> right, so now we're ready to go. He's got the guitar dropped in. And basically, he's just keeping the time with this like any other guitar would keep would keep the time with the drum. Keep going on the one, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna ready to rock the party. You guys have a 30 minute intermission. I encourage you guys to get up, get some drinks, dance, yell at us, make some requests. We're here to serve you guys, have a good time, and we're gonna get behind the decks and do what we do. So go grab some drinks and rock out with us. Thank you, Ignite. Spicy K, that's a mess. Head on the neck, fuck it. Y'all, let me go.